In this video, I will share five things you need to check before asking for a professional referral. My name is Modesta Mahigamguni, and in this channel, I help you with leadership success strategies for growth and impact. Two people asked me for referrals recently. The one I went over and about to connect to my network. The other I declined and recommended that they use official channels. I also asked two people for referrals recently. The one didn't even bother to respond and the other went over and above to make sure I access powerful decision makers in their field. So what does it take to get a referral? Before you request a referral, you might want to review this referral checklist. Number one, established relationship. Does this person know you and have a relationship with you, albeit at a professional acquaintance level of interaction? Remember, to make a referral is to say, I can vouch for this person. Can they? Number two, performance recognition. Does the person from whom you want to request for a referral know your work performance? This doesn't require them to have intricate, detailed knowledge of the technicalities of what you do. They don't necessarily have to be your current or previous supervisor, but they should know whether or not you are a high performer that can deliver wow once recommended. Number three, build trust. It is one thing to have a professional relationship with someone and admire their performance, yet quite another to trust them. Does the person you want to reach out to for referral trust you? Do they think that you have the character and work ethic to behave professionally and ethically? Number four, appropriate approach. They say that timing is everything. Boy, are they right. How and when you approach a person you want to refer you to others is extremely important, even if you already have an established relationship with them. Consider what you say, do, and when you say and do it to gauge whether or not it is appropriate and sufficient for the person to comfortably make that referral for you. Number five, simple and easy instructions. As a follow-up to number four, consider the instructions you give to the potential referee in making that referral. Have you made giving your referral as simple and easy as possible for them to do amidst all the other pressing demands of their work and life? In the next video, we will talk about how to successfully request a referral. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. If this video was helpful to you, please click like and share it with someone that is currently seeking referrals for their career or organization. See you in the next one.